<laughs> all right, all right. So here we are with another coaching session for Porks. I'm going to be running through myself as a support and sort of talking about the things that I'm doing and why I'm doing them. Um, so in terms of starting items, my Earthshaker decided he wanted to buy a ward and the courier. So I was able to be a bit greedy. I got six tangos, a salve, two fairy fires, and a mango. It's all falling into place. Oh, I guess they want to swap lanes. Which is probably a bit better. I'm a bit better against Axe Marana than Earthshaker is for sure. And then Earthshaker Omni Knight should be able to do pretty well against Juggernaut, to be honest. Um, this lane is a little bit tougher in general. But we'll see how we do. Ursa against Ember Mid, that should be a winning lane. I don't know why he's uh, holding that. Alright, so with a as a slow hero with a pretty slow turn rate, I don't want to be the one getting caught there. PA does a bit better around that. Um, so my positioning there, I was trying to walk and then walk in the way of him escaping so that PA could catch up and it let him get a hit or two. Um, <laughs> I don't think that zap was worth, but I really didn't want this, uh, this arrow, oh, this uh, battle hunger hitting me. Um, I'm going hex here because both of them have a break for shackle uh, pretty soon. This guy's battle hunger me at really bad times, so I'm able to get it off pretty easily. So here I'm more focused on getting these range kryptonized because they're so valuable, and I can get them a lot easier than PA can. I should have taken that last hit off him. Um, I'm actually just going to rush Tranquils, because I know it'll help me to out-harass them completely. And I'm going to buy another set of Tangos, I'm going to chuck it on the Courier, then send it back to Ursa. Should be able to get a deny up here. Um, the last hit, something. No, fuck. <laughs> I'm dead. That was well played by them. I should have had eyes down here. That was bad camera positioning on my part. Even though I missed the deny there, he shouldn't have been going for it. Um, but 
It looks like he won't from now. time here. So I'm baiting with fairy fires. Um, fairy fires and magic wand are a really good item if you feel like you're better than your opponents because you can really bait them in with shit thinking that they have kill threat on you like I sort of knew that even if he lands an arrow on me it's not going to be a long duration if he's going to be attacking me as well um, and so it'll generally be pretty good and I'll be able to get it off I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a base so down here, Urshak is able to leave this lane because they're pushing it so hard, they're just kind of being idiots. Um, Omni's getting- Omni's not getting free farm, but like, it's worth it for the lane that we're running. Ursa had full vision of that, that was a bit weird. Um, must have just lost focus or something. Um, I really value Tranquil Boots against Axe in lane, because his job is usually to get the support out of lane, and it just means he can't do that anymore. So I'm zapping that because A, I don't have 100% faith in my PA, um, and B, Axe looked like he was going for the last, uh, the die on it. So I'm being a little bit of a pussy because I don't want the clarity break, but stay for that now. I still got this fairy fire, so I know I'm not gonna die here. Now I'm just gonna hide for a bit and let my actually we can Let's go shrine. Actually, you don't need it. You stay. I'm going to solo shrine as a support. It's kind of bad to do, but I really want to stay in this lane as much as possible. Especially with old Axie boy against the PA. Um, so our map is pretty dark because I've been very greedy, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we should even be able to get a kill here. Oh, I've been arrowed. Yeah, so a ward there would have definitely helped. But it's okay. We all make mistakes. Gonna get a ward for this guy. So yeah, um, these are two very different games in terms of what the lane was like. Uh, one was heavily contested, two heroes with a lot of harass. The second one was just Weaver, um, and sort of had his own.
foot. Okay, so <laughs> another game where everyone bought all the support items again. Just confusing, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Uh, so I get to be greedy again. Six ten goes south. Bunch of mangoes and shit. Um, this lane's gonna be against Marana Weaver. Almost as tough as Marana Axe. Not quite as tough. Disruptor's quite good against this lane. Disruptor's good against all these heroes. Um, good against Weaver because you've got good catch for it and can keep vision on the invis. Um, good against Marana, same reason. Good against Lina. A bit more nuanced is because Lina you normally get a Yules as a defensive item. And Disruptive completely counters that. You can pull people out of Yules with Glimpse. Um, and then Terror Blade, obviously you got high magic damage and a silence. He's going to struggle against that. And it's AoE, so you clear out all his illusions pretty well. Um, and then Witch Doctor, you can cancel his ultimate from very far away with Glimpse. Uh, and my priority in the fights is definitely going to be uh, on the Weaver and the Terror Blade. Weaver earlier, Terror Blade later. Um, and I want to try to time an Ags around the time that Terror Blade gets a BKB unless he rushes it very early. But I feel like this game... Uh, I feel like this game he's going to go... Uh, like Dragon Lance into Manta. Maybe another damage item then BKB. Um, but if he goes big every second item, he's quite smart. Because that's a really good timing for them. Around the 20 25 minute mark. But we'll see. I'm going to buy this sentry. Oh, I've got this sentry. I'm going to buy another one for sure. And I'm probably going to get another set of tangos at some point. Maybe even my third sentry. I've got three bounty runes. That's really good. He's copying a lot of damage though. He's not gonna die. Well, he might. No, I doubt it. Um, Ricky took career. It was for his, yeah, it's for a century, so that's okay. And we should be fine. That guy leveled open wounds. We would have been able to kill him there. Um, but they're definitely playing toward the uh, last thing with Shikuchi. Which I am very okay with him trying to do. Because he is not going to get a lot of fun. Especially once we're both level 2. He's gonna get a lot less fun. I'm basically gonna spend as much mana and regen as I can, keeping Weaver off these creeps. Uh, ideally before he hits level 3 too, because by the time he hits level 3, he's going to have a lot of, um... He's going to have a lot more Shikuchi to use. I'm okay with taking those tower hits, um, because it's going to guarantee he goes back to base, or has to use a salve. But most likely he's going to base. And that is good for us. It's 
Especially if we deny creeps like this. Get rid of all the experience. I've been a bit of a shit and taken Ember's boots. Um, which I regret, to be honest. I regret doing that, but the mana will be nice. Especially if it makes him upset here. Then I super regret it. This guy is not even getting a bottle. What a madman. Basically, I'm just looking for Weaver, trying to keep him off the creeps. I've got enough regen to just trade hits with him as much as I can. Um, and I'm just trying to give Nakes the easiest lane I can. What's the objective here? Um, I'm going to buy the next ward after I buy another sentry, and I'm going to give it to Ricky. Um, so, usually the ward placement, I follow a pretty simple pattern in pubs, uh, because no one's really tracking your patterns in pubs. You send the first ward bot one mid, and then you take the third ward, you put it top, and that allows you to give your carry a bit more space while you do stuff like stack, because you can see rotations coming. You just want to be able to see the T1. Um, and then the fourth ward you put back at mid, and then the fifth ward comes at around the 10 minute mark, and you want it around that shrine. And the goal of that is to get your team to push this tier 1 and be able to pressure their jungle. Um, my team will probably be a bit confused with the drawing on the map, but hey. Looks like Weaver's given up on this lane, so I can sort of back away. I, I do want level 4. Um, I'm a lot more useful once I have a level 4. I'm going to buy that smoke to get it on cooldown as soon as possible, because the cooldown only ticks when there's not three in stock. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of leechy leech. I think it's just going to kill two people. I wish Ember would buy like an Aquila. Something. Something useful. Oh, I missed the stack, because I'm an idiot. Uh, but I'm gonna run over here. Fire. Yeah, but Weaver's come back to lane, so although Life Stealer can do quite well at zoning him out, I would like to uh, just completely zone him because he's so far behind, and I would want to just eliminate him from the game if I can. Protection, which is an issue. But it's okay because he's off attack. he's off the farm. Um uh terrible it's getting a decent chunk of farm. Not ideal, but not the worst. Give this guy a deep sentry as well. 
I'm gonna stack one more time. It's not a great hero at taking stacks, so I'm a bit worried about this. And so I'm not the most stressed if I miss it. A little stutter. But this guy's just fucked up. Maybe. Maybe not. Looking like it's up the maybe not category. I'm gonna start making some glimpse because it's a strong ass spell. Oh, she's got invis ring, I guess. I should check invent, that's my bad. Vision of that rotation, I guess it was just day vision. I would like to go back on the replay and check that just because I like to check shit like that. This guy's got the observer ward. Now we want a position for the bounty runes. We got the bounty runes, fellas. Come now. Ricky, can you get this one? Faster. Fleet of foot. I really just wanted it. I was going to trade my life for it, but it's okay. Come kill the Terrorblade. I got my ulti. Thought they might have a ward there, because I've seen a few teammates die in that area of the map. I guess not. So this is one of those games where the harass isn't going as well as I would hope. I haven't gotten any kills in lane because they kind of just weren't in lane. And so I'm left to be quite poor. Um, but it's okay. Uh, so this next ward, ideally, I would want to be putting it here, but they've already got one here. Um, and the intent of that would be to push the tower. But we don't really have any heroes that can push the tower, so I'm going to use it instead to secure this top lane of farm a bit more. Because I am really putting a lot of faith in this lifestealer having a radiance. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we've got. He's going the Dragon Lance. He'll probably get a Manta next, and then a BKB. Kill in the end. Weaver's still chasing me though. I'm do my best to get away. Spend money I have on more regen. As usual. Um, 
I'm just getting Battle Fury and hasn't bought an Aquila. Neither of these guys are going for an Aquila, uh, which is really bad. You usually get it on both your carries. You ideal, you definitely want it on at least one. Doesn't matter if it's a strength hero. Aquila's a great item. Um, I'm actually going to keep playing around bottom because I want them to rotate here. Because um, if they rotate here, it gives Life Sealer a lot more space. And it's just generally really good for us. We've got Egg. Let's use Egg. Just the wrong hotkey. Ah, uh, I fucked up again. Went really poorly here. Should have glimpsed at a base. Um, yeah. We used egg, we killed the carry, we lost me, so it's not the worst. I'm okay with it. But yeah, that was completely my misplay there. So yeah, um, these are two very different games in terms of what the lane was like. Uh, one was heavily contested, two heroes with a lot of harass. The second one was just Weaver um, and sort of had him zoned out had the opportunity to stack a bit. Didn't stack a lot because I was afraid of them taking the stacks, like Lena, um, but stacked a little bit. And effectively just made sure I had the vision so that Lifestealer could be alone and get over leveled and get over farmed. Um, yeah, hopefully this is helpful in some degree. Uh, if you want me to focus on other aspects a bit more, let me know and I'll, I'll try to improve that. Thanks.